Welcome to A Kind and Gentle Word. I'm Jordan, and today is day 12 of walking through the book of Psalms, one chapter at a time. I really hope that this series is impacting your heart and your relationship with Christ. My hope is that you listen to it in the morning or in the evening before you fall asleep, or even try to listen both times and really soak in God's word so that it just pours into your soul and flows out to the watching world. We're going to dive right into Psalm 12 today, and it's actually pretty short and sweet. Psalm 12, verse 1. Help, Lord, for no one is faithful anymore. Those who are loyal have vanished from the human race. Everyone lies to their neighbor. They flatter with their lips, but harbor deception in their hearts. May the Lord silence all flattering lips and every boastful tongue. Those who say, by our tongues we will prevail, Our own lips will defend us. Who is Lord over us? Because the poor are plundered and the needy groan, I will now arise, says the Lord. I will protect them from those who malign them. And the words of the Lord are flawless, like silver purified in a crucible, like gold refined seven times. You, Lord, will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked who freely strut about when what is vile is honored by the human race. The difficult thing about reading a psalm a day or trying to read a proverb a day, as most people do, sometimes the psalm can be a little bit confusing and baffling. (laughs) So this one, for instance, it's very short, and a lot of it can be a little bit confusing because I'm not sure exactly what's happening. And this is a psalm by David, of course, who wrote the book of Psalms. And it just makes you wonder, what were people saying that David felt the need to pour this out of his soul? But as always, he takes it back to God and says that God is overpowering everything. And the word of the Lord is flawless, like silver purified in a crucible, like gold refined seven times. Seven times is the number of perfection. What David is saying here is that God's word is perfect and that nothing can top it. So it doesn't matter what people are saying around you, saying about you. Return to his scripture, his word, because it is the final truth. Remember to be kind to others and gentle with yourself, for we are all a work in progress. And I'll see you tomorrow.